Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really super simple roasted chicken. I've got these beautiful potatoes from the farmer's market from Wiser Family Farms. If you ever find yourself in Santa Monica on a Wednesday morning, highly suggest you check these guys out. So a little bit of olive oil, some salt, nice kosher salt. I would do a two finger pinch here twice, okay? And then some pepper, fresh ground always. Give it a nice toss. Now you want a good bit of salt on the potatoes because it's really not all going to stick. Now we're going to come with our chicken that we have trussed right here. Now, I do not want you to use salt on this chicken because we've already dry brined it. If you haven't checked out dry brining before, please check out my video. It's a very simple and a very effective technique. So I'm just going to get a little bit of lemon in here that I've quartered just to give it a little bit of a nice aroma on the chicken as it cooks. Okay. We're going to get our oven to 400 degrees, then kind of toss the potatoes everywhere, surround the chicken, make it look nice. Okay, so once we got the potatoes on there, give it a nice coating of some fresh olive oil. The bird, all sides. Don't be afraid to get in there. Then we'll go straight into the oven with this guy. Make sure your oven is set to 400 degrees and let it preheat and pop your bird in. Let it go for 45 minutes. While the bird is roasting, you can make a light glaze. Two parts honey to one part balsamic vinegar. In this case, I'm doing two tablespoons of honey and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Once those are incorporated, you can whisk them slowly at first because the honey will be very viscous. And once it's fully incorporated, you'll see it's a lot thinner. I like to use just a touch here. You can use however much you want and think of it as like basting almost. So the bird's been in for 45 minutes. I'm just gonna give it a light coating with this. Now this will help a little bit with some caramelization. It'll also add a touch of sweetness and a touch of acid, which I really like on our simple roasted chicken. Make sure you get it nice all over. You're gonna wanna do this pretty quickly so the oven doesn't lose too much heat. Don't worry if a lot of it drifts to the sides. Then we're gonna pop it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. So you're gonna want the internal temperature of the thickest part of the chicken breast to read at 165 degrees, and that's Fahrenheit. Just like that. That's perfect. If it's under, you can add it a few minutes longer. Check in about five minute increments. We're gonna let the bird rest, and while we're doing that, we're gonna create a glaze with the fond from the bottom of the roasting pan. Just scrape all that off. Since the chicken is dry brine, there isn't gonna be nearly as much moisture released into the, when the bird cooks. So you're gonna get a lot less chew. It's very concentrated and very flavorful. So we're gonna bring it over to a pan, use some fresh chicken stock. I just made mine so it's still hot. It's always best to use fresh homemade chicken stock when you have the option. Turn that onto high heat and let it reduce for a little. We've reduced it by about half. That took about 10 minutes. Should be bubbling like this. I'm gonna add some fresh whole grain mustard. Let's go one, two, maybe two and a half to three teaspoons. Then we're gonna let that cook, whisk it up. And you'll see it reduce. I sped this up for you guys. It's kind of bubbling away. Looks pretty. Then at the end, just for some richness, we're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. And you're gonna whisk that in. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the mixture is bubbling and whisk continuously while you're doing this. We're gonna make sure the butter is emulsified. Add a few big pinches, let's say two or three tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. Give that one final whisk. Now your sauce is ready to go in a matter of minutes. Let's go to plate the bird up. I've already carved my bird. If you'd like to learn how to do that, you can check out my other video. So I like to start with a the thigh, then use the bottom of the drumstick to give it some height. Grab those beautiful potatoes, they roasted beautifully. I cut them in half just because I think the insides look really pretty. You don't have to do this step if you don't like. Just a couple of spoonfuls right there. Now we're gonna come with our chicken breast. 
lay it out so it's pretty thick pieces. You get a nice piece of crunchy skin on each piece and just show it off. Kind of fan it out a little bit like so. Then we come by with our jus. And don't be shy with this stuff, okay? It's not super concentrated. It is really flavorful, but you want a lot on there. Really get in there. Over the potatoes as well. Just one more spoonful like so. And if you want, you can kind of come around the side, give it a nice little decoration. Just like that, a few drops here and there. Get a little final coating of that jus. And there you have a beautiful roast chicken with potatoes and whole grain mustard jus.